Hi everyone, this is Jeremy C. I'm the Senior Commercial Marketing uh, Manager for Sensomatic Solutions Asia Pacific. And with me today in this video is Michael Day, Retail Leader for Australia and New Zealand. Hi Michael. Morning Jeremy. We're going to take a quick look here at the uh, predicted busiest shopping days in stores in Australia and New Zealand. And uh, you can see here now uh, the two days are actually, the first two days are actually uh, same for Australia and New Zealand with uh, Boxing Day going to be the busiest for stores. So with that out of the way, um, Michael, I want to catch up with you a little bit on uh, the situation in Australia and New Zealand. I understand that uh, some of the cities just got out of lockdown. What's the situation there like? I suppose the highlights uh, to hit there, Jeremy, is that Sydney it just came out mm -hmm. of lockdown uh, a week ago. So we experienced their Freedom Day, uh, what was deemed non-essential retail, and we could certainly argue whether uh, about what was deemed essential and non-essential, but it's all open again. And mm -hmm. uh, Victoria at the moment is earmarked similar to retail to return around November 5, and we're still waiting on a date um, for Auckland. But again, we'd certainly be hopeful that Auckland and all these cities would be opened up uh, prior to those major trading days that we just saw. And uh, Boxing mm -hmm. Day, which we all love, uh, number one for the Boxing Day sales in Australia and New Zealand. Yeah, so so it seems like um, there's going to be uh, some pent up demand, yeah. Uh, and uh, Australia, New Zealand, being so far away from everyone else, uh, do you see there's going to be a uh, supply crunch, yeah? Uh, like what we witness, uh, or we're going to witness very soon in uh, other parts of the world. We have, we, we are actually already experiencing that in uh, in all industries, uh, all walks of life. Uh, even when you look at um, um, home deliveries, we were mm -hmm. generally you know, next day delivery was accepted at the moment. Those lead times mm -hmm. are going out. So we're seeing lead times go out with, with all goods and services. It's interesting that you mentioned about a pent up demand. So the last time we came out of lockdown, we saw our traffic numbers return to around to bricks and mortar stores to around mm -hmm. 85 to 90 percent of where it was pre pandemic rates. So oh. we would expect the same. So we would expect that uh, you know put traffic to return and to return very strongly as it did previously. Right, and and all the um, shopping habits online is that going to stick or not? Well, that, that that's yet to be seen. But if we look at the if we look at the details and around that, so the prior to the pandemic, our online shopping rates were about ten percent of total retail. Uh, or 10% of what, what is, is non-essential non type of uh, non-food retail. Today, that sits at about 25%. And food retail wow. itself doubled in online sales during the pandemic. So when you stitch those two numbers together, that 10 to 15% that we didn't return, we didn't see return to bricks and mortar. Um, now, that could be for a couple of reasons. One may be some people just are still not as confident um, to but, uh, with concerns around uh, the coronavirus, but others, I think, have become more accustomed and more adept at right. purchasing online, and uh, we'll con certainly continue to see that trend. And the other is um, certainly buy online and pick up in store or curbside pickup. So we would we would consider that we would absolutely consider continue to see those trends. Right. So, any advice uh, for retailers and shoppers alike for this uh, holiday season shopping? Is one. Um, having the stocks available. So to, to be able to enable um, buy online and pick up in store or curbside pick up, inventory accuracy is, is a key. Uh, hmm. And the other thing that we've seen within this trend is that consumers are buying with more purpose. So conversion rates have gone up. Um, when consumers are moving into the bricks and mortar stores, they're moving in with more purpose around purchase. So the last bit hmm. from there would be the... Um, the shopper to associate ratio. If we get that right, we can make sure we maximise that opportunity around that conversion rate when the shoppers do enter the store. Right. Thanks for that, Michael. Uh, thanks for sharing. So for more information, please follow us at the hashtag Sensormatic Holidays 2021. Uh, we definitely have more content coming our way. So stay tuned. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, Jerry.